Right. 8 and 4 p.m. Yep, once again, Lynn's in danger, and I think she knows it too. Sincerely hope, I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. Yeah, she and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her and fast. But yeah, right now we are kind of in a pickle. How do we leave this place? Yeah, my only hope of escape is to find another telephone. No Mr. Desk Lamp here. The only friend I have to talk to is... That nice little doggy curled up on the floor. Okay, I mean... Hey, maybe, uh... Maybe Miss Cell has a plan. Oh, I was wondering if you could help me. I'll certainly try! But the only thing I'm really good at, though... Is barking. There really isn't much of I think he might be right. But I'm really, really good at barking. Miss Lynn comes chasing after me with a broom. The, knee, the lady next room kicks the wall. I've got quite a bit of influence around these parts. Okay, so don't uh, activate the TV, huh? It's like, what's even on the TV so that... Uh, Right. I'll knock this wall down! Alright, if you keep that racket up, I'll bring this old dilapidating building down on you. Yep, there we go. Did you hear what I just heard? <laughs> Yeah, it was the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. So yeah, you're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? How are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Oh, she's most hoping to crush me underneath it. Okay. Like, well, ah. Two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a pat to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. She's true to her word. We might be able to change the situation. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. Alright, I have to do something. If I can create a little more racket somehow. So yeah, what else uh, made the dog bark as well? The star ornament. Yep, there we go. Overstimulate a doggy to the rescue. Alright, I'll pound this one open! God damn. Yeah, I told you I will knock the wall down on you. Toast to me being a douchebag. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, eh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are. But the TV and the star ornament aren't. It's like, no, come on. That, that lady literally owes us like the, probably thousands of dollars. Yep, I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Yep, there we go. Thanks to the power of alcohol, we now have a path through, her, uh, through the other house. Yeah, the wall is still standing, just like before. Yeah, the hard paths only the dead can see. Yeah, 
There we go. And by the way, the doggo is still uh, perfectly okay. Yeah, you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to go see save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. Oh, I don't have any power of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. Yeah, we create our own paths, right, Miss Hill? That's right! I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Cecil. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Cecil, huh? Got it. You know what, Cecil? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. Okay, we never told that Missile was smart, but hey, what's important is he's trying. Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. To try and be a not douchebag, I guess. All I need is to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here's to the boorish people next door that I hold one a TV and a star ornament to. Oh, you taking your medicine like a good girl? Alright, here I am in yet another strange room. Oddly dense hair of this place, anyway. Now, where's that little treasure I'm looking for? Yep, there it is. If I can just borrow it. Right, Lynn's life is in danger. I have to use that phone in fast. Can very well make that woman bring it to me. Guess I have to find a way over there myself. Alright, can I do anything about the dictionary? Yep, too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Oh, maybe that woman built her built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. Yep. That's how we do bodybuilding. First, you gotta uh, go at the barbell or whatever, and then you straighten up your individual arm with the dictionary. It's more like a weapon than a book. Yeah, it's like everything. Uh, the whole uh, HD uh, thing definitely makes everything just so much bigger. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even if it means my ultimate ruination. Uh, ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate doesn't look right somehow. It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. So yeah, where's the dictionary? Alright, where could have had it gone to, huh? Okay, she's looking for the dictionary, but unfortunately, she's not gonna find it on her own. Like I say, in this game, you gotta do everything. So, Alright, what about that? Okay, so looks like we're gonna ha we're gonna need the the cooperation of a rodent here. Oh, no, I mustn't! I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? 
My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. Oh, you know, I've always wondered. If you can be overwhelmed by something, can you just be plain whelm? It's going to nag at me until I'm sure. Alright. Okay. Alright. Yep, there we go. Oh, 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 that's right. There it is. There we go. Don't forget to do that because otherwise you're not coming alongside with the ride. Oh, I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Oh. Perhaps my darling angel? Mama, you poor dear, and no wonder with a fever of 102. Here is to a night of fever hotter than the love of my prime minister. Oh, it's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Oh, I suppose that will be best. But wait a minute! I bet you are happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Especially if I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, the next Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we gonna celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Ugh. Yep, it's all about Justin Trudeau. No wonder the conservatives hate him. Oh boy! Yep, it's time for good little girl to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama! It's like, I don't know. If I go to the phone book and uh, the information about the lady in purple doesn't say she's a horseradish, then uh, I'd say it's gonna be all for nothing. Oh, she's a novelist who moved there due to a disagreement with her husband. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, now how exactly do I go anywhere now? Oh, eek! Yeah, what's going on? Oh, I made a tire! Oh, 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 all right. There we go. We're almost to the phone. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Hello? Is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. 
Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! Let me talk to Emily then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa! Now I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I REFUSE TO ANSWER! Yeah, the lady in red apartment and the troubled man's office. Alright, I have all the telephone lines that I need. So yeah, I'm curious about this woman's husband. But I shall go find my only lead first. Yeah, that hitman is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. Better hurry. Nope, I'm sorry. Let's go and snoop. So yeah, trouble men's office. So yeah, sometimes you can choose to not go uh, and do the immediate step, but all that you're getting out of the deal is just extra dialogue. Yeah, are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me! I beg your pardon, sir. <sighs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh boy. Yeah, another strange room and another strange person. It's like that could be the alternate name of the game. Wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Oh yeah, can we do anything in here? Documents, a medicine bottle, a water pitcher, and a flag. That guy is definitely not gonna notice a thing, so yep, that's sadly all we're getting out of the place. Oh yeah, that's right. We can also go back there. Oh, the line doesn't seem to be working. So we cannot go back to the bad guy's hangout. For some reason. So hey, let's go back to our task at end. Yeah, not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. I mean, it's been one full hour. So hey, in one hour, things can change. And yeah, there we go, Discount Phoenix Riot. And to the left, I'd say it's Discount Winston Payne. Yeah, it looks like they're examining... Uh, hold on. It looks like they're examining my body! I'M DEAD, MORON! <laughs> yeah, and beside them is certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder what that person really is. Welcome back! You weren't gone very long. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, the police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. <laughs> yeah, where is Lynn? Oh, you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Yeah, it looks like the investigation started! <laughs> Thank you, Anuito, for us up. Thank you very much. But yeah, it sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Yeah, Ruby. It looks like the investigation has started. Congratulations. 
Oh, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Oh, she was taken into custody. Oh, she was arrested? But why? Oh, I don't know. I'm a desk lamp. Alright, better see what I can find out. Oh, quite a thing, eh, this case. Yeah, one of our own. A murderer. Heads will roll over this. She's a rookie too. I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanello of the Special Investigation Unit. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that doctor is not above uh, gossip. Oh, we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Yeah, like me. Like me. Alright, bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Alright, would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanello, Cabanello, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanello's our top investigator. We don't want him to get to, to get him all bent out of shape or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm, we'll see what it's got to do with me. I really get what Kevin and Ella wants to come for either. It's probably just a big lark for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Oh my god, Cabanello in 60 FPS. My life is fucking complete. <gasps> Ah, the tension of a crime scene! <laughs> yeah, nothing like it, baby! <laughs> oh my god, he looks so fantastic! Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanello, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Yeah, this is the end of the special investigation unit. Unity seems unique. Right. First, it's time for snooping. Right. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How's it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough. About fair average, if I have to say. Yes, it's going all right. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with the spark, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of the spark. Yes. Uh, sorry about that, Inspector. Just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Eh, Sim. Sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Okay, so where exactly that was? Park. 
Now then, sir, find me my, my report, sir. Duck. Yoo-hoo. Oh, duck. Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into volunte custody voluntarily, sir. She's been detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you park your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Carry on, boys. So, a Phoenix not right? You're such a freaking uh, ass licker. Inspector Cabanello sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again, and I've never seen anybody who stares the way he does. I heard he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion that same airy way. And I heard Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how shall I know? I think we can pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Wait, really? You just got killed by a dinky ass gun? Oh no, that pistol! Yup, same model as the pistols uh, you detective carry around. Hmm. Yeah, if it serves, it's all over. So Lynn's a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. But call it all me. So yeah, what's next? I mean, let's do what we can do best. Let's examine the pistol. This is the weapon that took my life. Pistol, eh? My memory seems to be easy on pistols. But I've seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... Whoops! Fool! If you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction! I didn't fire it! I'm the victim here! This is the act of somebody who was jealous of my abilities as a, detect as a detective! Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you! Yeah, that proves it's a real gun. Uh-oh. Another gunshot. Yeah, is that what I think it was? Sound of a gun. Yep, I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. Oh, it's like that old riddle. Which came first, the ringing of the phone or the crime case? Oh yeah, the animation in this game like is fucking stellar. Alright, hopefully it's not bad news. Ah, there you are! Do me a favor and have the duck come to the super's office, would you? Uh, it seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, greeny, get the good duck over here this instant. OR I'LL SEE TO IT YOU NEVER WEAR A GREEN SUIT AGAIN! Yes, sir. I'll send him right up, sir. Yep, the superintendent office. I hope he's prepared, uh, he's prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. It's like someone just probably died. You have some enthusiasm for your job, doctor. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what's going 
on? Oh, no, that's me, but something seems really, really wrong. Oh, that shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Alright. Hopefully we'll learn more about that uh, at the super's office. Oh, another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard. Oh yeah, that's it. I think this is the first chapter... Uh, yep, yeah, this is the first chapter where we don't actually have to save somebody. We're doing the saving part uh, in part four. Oops, obtain a new background. Ah, okay. The background is this. I thought that was the black screen. Hey, you got a black screen. Congratulations. 